you. I can't believe you told Josh I was steampunk in seventh grade. It came up organically. Yeah, well, thanks to your stupid text, now my boyfriend thinks me huge dork. Shane. Shane. New links, huh? Looks that way. Guys, I don't get it. Whoever stole everybody's phones figured out a way to crack over passcodes, but they're only leaking secrets about popular kids. The leaker evidently has a vendetta against the Behringer elite, which means the culprit could really be anyone outside a group of about 30 narcissistic idiots. Then how come they haven't leaked anything about you guys? What? I mean, because you're popular, right? <laughs> Are you kidding? Tyler? I'm popular! I got elected! It's not the same thing. Oh. Nonetheless, if the leak doesn't hit Tyler soon, the perception is going to be that he has something to do with all this. That's why I need to identify the leaker before that happens. Mm -hmm. Okay, I understand we're all a little on edge right now, but this is Spirit Week, a time for us to celebrate what makes Behringer High School the number one school that is or ever has been, okay? We need to maintain a unified front. Which is why I'm dividing us into two committees. Can I formally request that I'm not on a committee with her? Oh, like I want to be on a committee with him. Okay, is there something I should know about here? The leak this morning was pretty earth-shattering <sighs> for a lot of us. Guys, we cannot let petty innuendo interfere with our sworn duty to defend this great institution. We're better than that. Anyway, what was it? Was it about me? It's the big one. What? Brandon Wu's sex list. I was an urban legend. Oh, it's very real. Now the entire school knows who's done what with who and behind whose back. Matt. Babe, it was one time. I'm sorry, uh, were you guys dating? Like all of you guys? Emphasis on were. A week of my life I'll never get back all because someone couldn't help himself from robbing the freshman cradle. Well, it's who I am. Okay, guys, 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 no, guys, guys, no. guys, I don't care what was on the list. Was I on the list? Um, you were listed as an unlikely with weird goth girl. Unlikely? We totally did stuff! Almost! Like I said, I don't care. Let's just get down to real business here. Elise, can you read me back the minutes from the... Elise, um, just an FYI that all student council members are required to dress up for Spirit Week. Just like cheerleaders and athletes. I'm just sad about my phone, okay? Nah, she got dumped by Nick Wexler because it got leaked. She was Snapchatting with Greg Lehman. We were snapping platonically! Oh, okay, no, you weren't. You should. I didn't ask to see him. I just can't. You can't. You can't. You can't. You can't. You can't. You can't. Help with leaks! Help with has your phones! Doesn't he know that you can't just print conspiracy theories without proof? It's called libel. But you did have the most to gain from getting rid of the phones. Tyler, there is a fight. Every class change. The PTA wants my head, and I get to go spend my lunch hour downtown at a hearing today so that I can defend why a thousand student cell phones were stolen on my watch. This hits me hardest. Think. Hmm, says the woman who still has her phone. Wait, you're leaving the school today? Not gonna work for me. You need to stay here and get to the bottom of this now before something Lisa can do some real damage. Oh, I'll be sure to inform the school board of your objection. Hey, if you're worried about some kind of digital paper trail from Taco Tuesday... Taco Tuesday was an inside job! Trust no one! The administration did Taco Tuesday! Alfred gave everyone a boner? Mind blown. Okay, what I'm trying to say is, there is a new trail. I know how to cover my tracks. Everyone makes mistakes. Except me. Hadley, it's Spirit Week. And if you haven't noticed right now, Spirit Week. If only there was some way to officially interrogate every person we could possibly suspect, regardless of evidence. The Crucible this weekend, five dollars. Tickets to the Crucible! That's it. A witch hunt! Totally empty, and there's no theater elective till fourth period, so it should stay pretty quiet. Good. I have a bit of history with Mr. Blaylock, so I prefer to fly under his radar. Drama with the drama teacher? There has to be a story there, right? Another time, Rory. I need you to whip up 30 doctor's notes by second period. Can you handle it? I'm on it. Go! Sorry, what are we planning to do here? Interview those who have reason to commit treasonous acts against the student body. Lance, bring me the subversives of Behringer High! Derek Grody, you are what many students at this school would consider the biggest dirtbag on campus. True, true. 
What would you say to those same people who believe you are the traitor responsible for hijacking everyone's phones, cracking their passcodes, and leaking their secrets? I would probably tell them to uh, leak my balls, <laughs> Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> You're in contempt. Not talking? That's fine. Throw him in the pit. Huh? <laughs> the, the orchestra pit. Right there. Throw him in. <laughs> Addison Pierce, immediately after your crushing defeat at this year's freshman class council election, you heard a remark, and I quote, F this place. She said the word, though. The F word. F Would you say that that sentiment remains today? Look, I'll do whatever you guys say. Just please leave me alone. I'm just trying to make it till graduation without making any waves. Only seven semesters left. Tyler, haven't you done enough to this poor girl? Rory, please escort Miss Pierce here to the pit! Come on! Okay, fine, 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 fine. Go back to class. Guys, you are a mob. Where's the mob mentality here? Let's get it together. Dude, thanks so much for getting me out of class. Shut up, Owen. Tell us where you stashed the phones. What? It bothered you, didn't it? That no one read your articles in the school newspaper. That they had better things to read on their phones. And then all their phones just disappeared. And you began trafficking in a handful of very anti Behringer conspiracy theories. And I guess by some coincidence, you gained an audience. Dude, that's actually a pretty cool theory. Do you mind if I use that one? I like to present both sides and let the reader decide. By the way, is this all on the record? Please tell me it is. No, 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 I don't have any more questions. You can go now. Okay, hang on, I'm just writing it. Go! Ms. Merman, you are known for your subversive behaviors, is that correct? And you're known for your virgin behaviors. <laughs> What's your point? Okay, for the sake of transparency, let the record show that Ms. Carissa Merman and I were involved in a very short but very passionate relationship. And may the record also show I have no idea why I dated the repressed egomaniac currently serving as my inquisitor. Oh, was I supposed to be writing all of this down? Yes! Ugh, what am I, your secretary? Yes, you ran in an election for secretary. That is literally your job. Okay. Miss Merman, what was it that led you exactly to commit such an unspeakable treasonous act against a school? A school that only wanted to get to know you better, to nurture you, and take care of you through the good times and the bad. What? I didn't take the phones. No, I'm ending a relationship. I mean, seriously, what really happened there? I felt like I didn't really get any closure. Yeah, um, I'm kind of over these little student council meetings being called in my honor. Huh? You never got me, dude. Tyler, can we go now? This is getting kind of boring. The prosecution hereby calls to the stand, Matt Johnsmeyer! <gasps> Mr. Johnsmeyer, you have a healthy sense of humor. Would you agree? <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it! Maganti! <laughs> Dude, she gets me, man. <laughs> and would you say that it is that same sense of humor that has led to your subversive reputation as a known prankster? Oh, God. Not this again. Lance and I have analyzed some voice samples of notorious senior prankster, Senor Prank. Lance? Hola, Barrage High School. We are Senor Prank. We have come early this year in retaliation and for certain after? indiscretions committed by the powers that be. It is time for an awakening. Look, I see how you guys think that that could possibly sound like me, but that's... I mean, come on, open your eyes, people. Open your eyes, people. Senor Prank is a... All right, listen. If you guys think I'm the one who bonered the entire school, you're crazy. In fact... There are those who believe that what happened on Taco Tuesday was actually an inside job. <laughs> Food for thought. Wait, don't you guys think it's a little weird that Tyler's the only popular kid who wasn't hit by the leaks? Exactly! See, someone thinks I'm popular. Ha! Yeah, yeah, something's not right here. If I see it, I'm gonna say something. Tyler's always going to get out of town. Silence! Silence! Oh, I got you now. 
You got a lot of nerve coming here, Prendergast. Mr. Blaylock. So, like, is he your nemesis or... Another time, Rory. Yes, sir. We were just leaving. Principal's office. All of you! Tyler, she's still out. Tyler! They are the traitors, Hadley, all of them. Wait, where are your colors? I took them off. Why? Because honestly, I'm beginning to seriously doubt your allegiance to Behringer. Tyler, it's just us here. You haven't actually started to believe that crap, have you? School spirit? This is supposed to be just a stupid game, remember? Hey, great news, man. You got leaked. So, how was it? I like taking a cheese grater to the Johnson for two hours straight. Well, Mr. Clemmer, safe to say that we are on very thin ice through the rest of the school year. At least until we figure out who stole that damn phone truck. Yeah, we need a name. Oh, some possible good news on that front. We received an anonymous tip about five minutes ago, if you're at all interested. Obviously. What was the leak? Show me. Who has a new phone already? Savannah, you're rich. It's a text with Carissa Merman from November. What does it say? It says, I feel bad for her. I can't stop being friends with Hadley. Otherwise, she'll have no friends. It must be hard. She's so obsessed with everyone's place in the social order, she doesn't even realize she doesn't have one. That's what McGunty thinks anyways. McGunty. So you were trying to find the leaker because you knew I'd see this. It all makes sense now. You don't understand. I was defending you. She wanted us to not be friends anymore. We were never friends. And you know what? I'm actually glad I broke you guys up. Whoa, analog leak. How could you do this to me? I could have made it under Brandon who's sex list! Still can. Not now, Blair! Sorry, bro. You were acting crazy. Yeah, I was acting crazy because I was in love with her! Ew. I mean, like, nah, or whatever. Guys, listen! Go, go. My phone! Say goodbye, Prendergast. Wait, whose locker is that? Hadley's. The girls' bathroom. An appropriate venue for Hadley Polito to finally be flushed down the toilet. A vengeance. I'll pass on the freshman poetry, if that's okay. Shut up! I warned you, I like to crush my opponents completely. See you... never. Let's go. Principal, I know who did this. If you are about to say any name other than Hadley Polito. A thousand phones in her locker. Wait, do you really think she's that dumb? Think. Wait. <laughs> Hadley is a lot smarter than this. So whoever really did this had some sort of grudge against her, some twisted reason to truly despise her. Yeah, Hadley wouldn't have done this in a million years. You know what else? I don't care. You can't suspend her though, you, you can't. I'm not. She's been expelled. Now let's talk about the rest of the year. March 24th, Spring Fling Dance, that's gonna work out just fine. There's a varsity basketball game right before, but now we're talking about the end of the year, where we have Spring Fling. Suspension! 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 Suspension!